Today is our final installment of Water Lily by Fallon Gems. All right, excuse this mess as I go to the overhead. All right, the noise you hear in the background is my cooking blender. I am making lunch. I'm making tomato soup. So you're going to hear it every now and then. Click on. This is our final installment of Water Lily by Fallon Gems. I am an affiliate. My code is in the comment section. Feel free to use it. I will get a small commission. No pressure though. We are going to watch this finally be complete. So get yourself a cup of coffee, tea, hot chocolate. I have mine in my mug that says season's greetings. It is chilly here on the panhandle of Florida. So I'm actually wearing a sweater in my garage. That's where I do my diamond painting. All right, what's the, what, what's the difference between parchment paper and the Diamond Art Club release paper? Here we have parchment paper. Here we have the Diamond Art Club paper. I like the parchment paper. It fits better when there's a section here that might not be done, and this is done, then this might not be done, and this is done. Parchment paper will stick. Whereas the Diamond Art Club, well, it will stick here because there's quite a bit of stick there. But I feel like as you reuse it, it, it gets harder to remove. But the parchment paper, this is like my fifth time using it, and it's the same. I can use it either side for this brand. I got it at Sam's Club. It comes in a two-pack, but I like the parchment paper a lot better than Diamond Art Club. Sorry, Diamond Art Club. And it, it, it works great. So... That's my, and I just take a sheet and cut it in sizes that's doable for me. You can cut them in any size you want. So that's my opinion on parchment paper. <coughs> so I have news about our channel. We are changing it up a little bit. My shout out Fridays are going to end next Friday. So if you have a channel that you would like me to shout out, please send it to me. You can email me at pamperedwithdiamonds at gmail.com and I will be sure to get it in. Anytime you want me to do a shout out, I will get it in as long as you email me and let me know. My video schedule has changed, <clears throat> but let's, let's work on... Let's get some drills going. Whoops, I didn't need that many because we're doing number one and there's not that many of the ones. Okay, so my video schedule will be changing. It will go to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And I will do shorts on Tuesday and Thursday and maybe on the weekend. The weekends I, I want for myself. So we're going to pre-record the weekends. And so they won't be, I won't be around on the weekends. But I will have videos out. So never fear. There will be videos out. 
So I am continuing this water lily. It's coming out very nice. And I want to share a tip with you. Well, first this canvas has two ABs and it's got 24 colors. So for this little picture, it has a lot going on, a lot of colors and ABs. And I, those of you that know me, I love ABs. I like fairy dust. I like to bling things up. But because this is a PR package, I didn't want to bling it up. I wanted to do it exactly how it came to me. So I'm even using their pen and I did add a squishy so that there would be two on the pen. But I did change the tray. I'm using Firefly's tray because I can fit more. As you can see, my outline, the water, has got a lot of drills, so I wanted a bigger tray. So I just went with it and I haven't changed it. So we're sticking with the Firefly tray. So you have a problem. How many people have a problem with sliding drills? All right, let's take a look. Okay, sliding drills. Here's a tip to get it to stop. You see these? See how they're uneven right here? Okay, what I'm going to do, you can see it is I'm going to take these, whoops, let me put my parchment paper down. What I'm going to do is move these drills out of here, okay? Now I'm going to move, slide these over, take my drill, come on, whoops, See, they're starting to move back, so you got to be quick. So you move that there, take this, place it, take that one, and place it. That should stop them from shifting. So let's do this one, because I've done it down here. So you're going to find out where they're not lining up. Shift. and then place. So now that you've removed the drill and placed it back, there won't be a shift. It should stay. So let's try the corner. Okay. Boop. So now since I did the corner, we'll be able to check on that later and see if she moves. So that is my tip. I like working on this because it's nice to have a small one to work on when you're working on a really large one. So I am working on the event with Diamond Painting with Friends, Shenanigans with the Bergs. She's doing a Sugar Skull slash Halloween event. So I didn't have any Sugar Skulls in my stash or skulls. So I decided to do my three ghosts. And I am highlighting my ghosts with Glow in the Dark glitter from Michaels. It's the Recollections edition. And I'm experimenting with it because I do not have square glow-in-the-dark drills. So I figured I would compromise and learn something. So I went looking around because Joann's does sell drills but my local Germans has got them all on clearance and they've already sold out of their glow in the dark, but they only had rounds. 
So even if they had them, I wouldn't be able to use them on a square canvas. It would just look funny. So I decided to try this glitter. And I'm loving the way it comes out because it's a make market canvas, the two, the three ghosts. And I'm not really fond of the image because it's dark. Those of you that know me know I like bright. I like colors. So I wanted to brighten it up or I wasn't going to finish it. So I, I bought the glitter and I've been experimenting with it. I have done a short on it. Go watch the short. It is short. And I will be doing a, another whip and chat. Just a, well, it'll be a small video giving an update of my ghosts with this event shenanig with shenanigans with the Bergs. Part of the requirement is you have to show it on your channel. So it's a way to get your channel out there so that people see you and they can become a subscriber if they so choose. And they can be updated on my progress. I did the event for October with Diamonds and Stuff. And she is also part of the Diamond Painting with Friends 2024 group. And next month, let's see, I'm skipping ahead here. So it's nice to have a small one in between the big one. So I like, and this one's a, a round, whereas the three ghosts is a large. So it's nice to have a small one to work on when I need a change from my big canvas. So what events are you joining for November? Hmm. Are you ready for the event? While you think about that, I am thinking about joining the Randall Spangler event November 1st with the principal painter, but I don't have a canvas yet. So if I get a canvas, I'm going to wind up getting it from Amazon. My husband has an Amazon account. I don't really like buying things off of Amazon, but I don't know that Diamond Art Club will be able to get it to me quickly. So it's not going to be a big canvas. I just wanted to join it to be a part of an, of an additional community. I am part of House of Miscellaneous community. And if you aren't, go over and take a look. She, she is very welcoming and their group is so much fun. And if you just need someone to talk to, her group is there for you. They really are a neat group. So if you're looking for a new group, go check out House of Miscellanea. So I'm looking to do the Randall Spangler event with the principal diamond painter. And I'm looking to do the Hello Kitty event with diamond painting with Jack. That, I don't have any Hello Kitty canvases for that one either. But I do have a cat canvas that I could work on. Uh, is it between, between that one and another one? 
that I really can't talk about it on my channel because it's also a Christmas gift for somebody, a very good friend of mine. So I'm going to be emailing my progress to Diamond Painting with Jack so that my friend does not stumble across that video and see my progress because I definitely don't want her to see what I'm working on. You know what I mean? So that's, those are the two that I'm thinking about joining for November 1st. So put in the comments what events you are going to be joining. Okay, guys, I have finished my lunch. It turned out amazing. It was homemade tomato soup in my cooking blender. Yeah, I used to sell Pampered Chef, so... I have the cooking blender and uh, there's a recipe uh, for tomato soup. I do doctor it up a little bit and change it up. So yeah, so there's a little bit more, uh, there's a difference in that recipe and mine. So earlier we did the shifting diamonds hack. Do you see it has not moved back? So for those of you that have missed it, we'll do it again. Ugh, I keep forgetting when I'm not working with the area, put the paper down. So you want to shift those so that they're lining up. Pick up that diamond and put them there. That diamond will not move now. So we'll see what it looks like in a few minutes. Okay. So I discovered that. Oh, look, there's another one. Let's go ahead and do that one while I'm looking at it. Can you see it? Let's show the, see the diamond right there? Nope, you can't. See it right there? See it shifting? So, we are going to move that. Move those. Take that. Put them there. Move that one. Let's do a different pen. Okay. Now you're going to see they're going to be, they'll stay. So that's my little hack there. So this is drill number four. Very little trash in these. Very nice though. I'm not having any problems with these drills. They're cooperating. They are placing very easily. The glue is good. So I also ordered a square canvas from them. And I can't wait to do that one either, but you can't do all of them at once, can you? You know. Some people have quite a few works in progress at the same time. I have, I like to have two or three just so I can change it up a little bit. But um, there are, 
There's another creator out there. I can't think of her name. But uh, she had 71 whips in progress. Oh, it's purple princess diamond painter. So hurry, that's right. Her event this month is Crack the Whip. Her goal is to try to complete some projects that she has started and not finished. She started them for an event because there's a lot of events out there that don't require a finish. So you start these events and then you don't have to finish them. So you just put it on the back burner and then you end up with a collection of diamond paintings that have been started and not finished. I can't do that. I don't have enough storage containers, first of all, to um, do something like that. I mean, think of how much storage container she must have if she has 71 all ready to go like that. It's just more power to her, you know. Give her credit what credit's due. It's just not me, guys. Not me. So now we're on number six. There's one. Six. Is there any more on this side? No, nope, but there's a two. Did I finish that one? That's it for the six. We only had two. But of course, as soon as we put it away, we will find it. So, no, not a one. How about the two? Where's the two? There you are. Because we, we spotted it. Yep, there it is. Oh, wrong one. Two. Let's put that there. And that there. And number seven, purple. So we have three. Looks like Three sevens. Don't have many sevens to do. No more sevens. Now we have the yellow. The orange, which is B. There's a few of them. So, That's a shredder. Don't think it's my husband, though, because he's working still. He works from home, so you may hear him walk around because he works from home. He does walk around, walk about the cabin every now and then, you know, he does get breaks. So, but he doesn't typically take his breaks. I always get on to him for that. Like, 
dude, you need to take your breaks. And he doesn't always take his lunch either. He's not real good about that. He's always got something important going on. He's an important guy. He is to me anyway. So, oh, we have some, two more. And any more in there? Nope. Don't see any more. That's, I like that in the middle. There's a lot of drills, a lot of spare drills. At some point, I am going to do a drill comparison. I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it or what canvas I'm going to use. So this is 12, which is C. And there's a, a bit of C's. And this is the AB. It's pretty. I like ABs. Oops, I didn't pick one up. Let's go light. So let's get back. We were talking about events coming up in November. Are you guys ready? What are you going to be doing? Put that in the comments if you haven't already. And I need to find... found one. So I want to know. I'm thinking about doing the Randall Spangler one. And what else? The Randall Spangler Oh yeah, and the the Hello Kitty one, the Hello Kitty event with diamond painting with Jack. Like I said, I have a canvas picked out, but I won't be featuring it on my channel because one of them are going to be a gift for somebody. So, and if she watches my videos, I don't want her to see. Let's face it, not everybody likes diamond art. And not a lot of my friends do diamond art. I'm one of the only ones in my friend group that does diamond art and that's okay it's not for everybody you know but uh I have a friend that likes to sew and knit and I do not if it has a hole in it or it has to be made not my, not my thing. 
Not my thing. Yeah, that's the only bad thing about ABs. They do take your wax out, but it doesn't take the coating off the AB, which is fascinating to me. So yeah, I'm thinking about getting a canvas from Amazon to do the Randall Spangler. And he's supposed to appear on the Principal Painters channel one of the Mondays during the event. So I'm kind of excited for that. I do want to go back to my former employment place, the library, and get a picture of the dragon in the story room and show it to him because he is the artist of the dragon in our story room. The dragon is a female dragon reading to her babies. She has two little babies, draglings, in the um, mural. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to show it off. I picked it out. It's when I was working there. All right, this is not working, guys. I need to do something. I could do tweezers, but... Do I really want to do tweezers? So, let's see. Better. First world problems. Got to get the right wax. All right, where were we? Right there. And I'm not pressing very hard, just picking it up, putting it down. Because if it's going to take the coating off, I think it's going to be when you press really hard. So I don't want to press really hard. All right. Do you see any more C's? Yes, we do. Right there. Picking up more than one. So, do you see the trash? I see some trash in here. All right, let's first place these. Yep, there's another one right there. And don't see any more. Oh, yep, there's one more. Okay, so let me get the trash bag.
of the weird shape. And this one happens to have a little ta tail on it. But other than that, it looks good. So let's put them back in. Number 12. Thirteen is what? D. D, D, D. Where is their D's? There's two, five, yeah, there's a few. Okay. If I join the Randall Spangler event, am I going to see you guys there? Who else is going to do it? That'll help me decide, too. Let me know if you're going to participate in the Randall Spangler. But I need to know fast. Because time's running out, and I need to get a canvas. Actually, by the time you see this, it'll probably be too late to get a canvas. So, I'll probably put up a prop. You, they probably will have been a short video, one of the shorts, asking that question or a poll. If you're doing the Randall Spangler event, because it's always more fun when other people are doing it that you know. So just uh, be looking for that. If you haven't found it already, go back and take a look. See if you can find it. Oh, there's one. There's two more. Do you see them? Right there. And right there. D. Now we're going to move on to number 15, which is F. Let me put that there. Okay, so the other event I'm going to be doing is jingle drills oh, while we're looking all right let's look at our sliding drills here's where we fixed it it's still straight and that is still straight we did not fix this one we fixed it right here, and we fixed it up here. So they no longer slide. So the sliding drills are fixed. It is fixed. All right, so we are working on number 15, which is F. Okay, F. Quite a bit of Fs.
jingle drills. That's what I'm going to be participating in, jingle drills. Anyone here participating in jingle drills? Just go ahead and put it in the comments. Again, I want to see which of my friends are going to be doing it with me. Did you participate in thrills and chills? Because I believe it's the same people that's going to do. I know it's emerald and fairy light. So I wonder if it's going to be the same people. Or if anybody in my, any of my subscribers going to be participating in it. Yep, I'm going to be doing Christmas Joy. It's a 20 by 27. And it's from uh, Donna Gill Slinger. Slinger. And Diamond Art Club put it out. She's an artist with Diamond Art Club. She's got quite a few other pieces on Diamond Art Club's website that are not sold out yet, but this snowman one is sold out. I'm sorry, guys. So, my sister loves snowmen, so I might be making this one for her. She doesn't like <laughs> Diamond Art. She doesn't mind it because I'm doing it, but she doesn't do it for herself. So here is Christmas Joy. And that is the one I'm going to be doing for Jingle Drills. And it's got 51 colors plus four ABs and three fairy dusts. So... It's going to be a very fun piece. And it's 20 by 27 inches. So it's decent. It's not huge. My Mystery by Randall Spangler was huge. But not as big as Bountiful Voyage. Those of you that watched me do that one, you can watch that. I have a few videos on there with Bountiful Voyage as the star. So if you want to go see it, go check it out. So I'll be working on Christmas Joy. This is going to be my first big event. I've done other small events with like a Diamonds by Tita, and I have done um, Starlight, Starbright 70s event, the Eeyore event that she had, and it was, I had an Eeyore canvas that I found at a thrift store, someone placed like 10 drills on the canvas and decided I don't like this and she put everything back in the box or he and donated it so I got a $43.99 canvas for $4.99 so I did it for Starlight Starbright's event So that was fun because I bling, it was the Eeyore event. So I blinged up Eeyore. So that was fun.
All right, I think I got all the Fs. Nope. Close, though. wanted to share another find we're on number 17 now though h And I wanted to share another find. I found this pair of scissors in another thrift store near me. And I was very excited. At first I saw them and I was like, oh, all right. I don't need those. And I walked away. And I walked the rest of the store and I decided you need to go back and get those scissors. And I know you're thinking, it's a pair of scissors. No, it's more than a pair of scissors. And I'm going to show you why. These are scissors that cut grooves. They make a pattern in the item that you're cutting. So I will show you right now. These are Fiskars scissors. Fiskars paper scissors. They do scalloped edges. Can you see that? I got them because, and they were a dollar. I got them because I like to put masking tape and then washi tape around the border of my pictures. But I don't like, I'm afraid to cut it because then you, you, you lose the scalloped edges. And you put your canvas, if you're not going to put it in a frame, in risk of fraying, which is why they scallop, the companies scallop the, the edges. So I am now going to continue with putting my masking tape and washi tape on the outside of my canvases because now I can scallop my own edges. Because I didn't want the edges to fray because then it just looks ugly. So I'm going to put scallop Fallon Gems, this one, does not have scalloped edges, but I'm going to put my own. We're going to try it. Yep, we're going to give it a whirl and see how it does. Now the scissors cut, and if they're not real sharp, working in the library, I know how to 
make scissors sharp again when they're not. You cut foil, aluminum foil, with them. And that will sharpen them back up. How many of you knew that tip? So we will try that out. Once we start cutting with them, because I may not have to do that. They may be sharp enough. So we will, we will see. Did I tell you it's chilly here in Florida? Yeah, it's chilly today. So we may fast forward a little bit. Because I'm running out of things to talk about. This was a live. You guys could talk to me. So, but it's not. I will be doing a live with Lorraine, the one who won the ice cream canvas at some point. She is in the process of getting to a good, trying to figure out a good location for her live. We may have to help her a little bit. She's not real computer savvy, but we will help her get it working. So looking forward to that. That's going to be fun. All right. So let's, oh, wait, we have another H. Where did it go? There it is. All the way down there. Eighteen is G. Quite a few of those. So I think we're, I'm going to have this video fast forwarded now to some spooky music. Because why not? It's Halloween month, right? So we are going to get that going and then I'll see you when we get to the middle.
this is the last color, we are on the center, which is R. It's an orange. Okay. And you see, we have done all the rest. So let's just move them so we can move kind of quickly because it looks like it's going to be a lot of color blocking in the middle. So, is it not going to work? Come on, pen, work with me. All right. Much better. And I finally got it to make the popping sound, guys. You hear it? Pop. We can play some two by two. Seems to be working better with this pen to do two by two. Oh, now we got a three. There it is. Found one more damaged. It's got a ring around it like a Saturn. Okay, so this is all our trash. Not that bad. It's really good, actually. Really good. And this is our completed canvas. Let's raise up a little bit. Look at that, it's pretty.
So I'm going to go get some masking tape to put around it and then washi tape and then cut it out and create the edges. But before I do that, I want to show you all the leftover drills. This is all left over. Isn't that amazing? Let's see if I can shut that off. Yeah. Look at that. And I have extras, a lot extras of this AB. And where's the other one? Come out, come out, wherever you are. And extras of this one. I'm so going to be putting these in other canvases. All right, let me go get some washi tape. I'll be back in a split second. It'll actually be a few minutes, but it'll be a split second for you. All right. All right, let's see. Ooh, I think, I think that one has the right colors. Hmm. That's a ribbon, but I don't think we're using the ribbon right now. All right, let me see what else we have. Those are cameras. Those are trees. <coughs> I think I found one. Okay. What do you think? <clears throat> I think that's going to work. Well, we also have some new washi tape. Not feeling that one, guys. So let's see. Can we? Perfect. Oh, this is a sticker. These washi tape were all given to me by a friend. So, yeah, that's not going to cover. So, what I'm going to do is, that is interesting. Okay. All right, what we're going to do so we're going to put my washi tape over there. We're going to use this masking tape because it's the same. So we're going to open it. This is just your run-of-the-mill masking tape, but it's the same color. So let's see if we can find the end. 
Uh huh. I see it right there. So I'm just going to do all the, I'm going to do the other three sides like that. So we'll just fast forward through that. Next, I'm going to take this tape. I haven't worked with this before. Actually, this was a brand new roll. I just never seen it with the adhesive on the back. Okay, so now we're going to Put it and we're going to fast forward you through this part as well. So we're going to do the other three sides. Here is our finished canvas. Now, whoops, wrong scissors. Guys, we're going to take our new scissors. Is that better? Okay, a little bit. And we're going to cut.
these are not very sharp. So I'm going to go sharpen these up. I will be right back. So I went and got some foil. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if it worked. I know the foil trick works because I did it at the library. Well, it's not working very well here. Fudge. Well, it was only a dollar, guys. It was only a dollar. I am going to see if I can figure out if I've used these scissors at the library, not this pair, similar pairs. And they do work really well when they work. Maybe this canvas is too tough on it, but did not work out well. So thank you for watching. Have a nice day.